One of the highest anticipated launches in 2020 is Polkadot, which has been in development for several years and has high-profile blockchain founders such as Dr. Gavin Wood from Ethereum and Parity Wallet. Do you think this protocol will become even bigger than Ethereum and how does it compare in the space? Let's find out more, so just sit back, relax and keep on watching. Welcome back to Bitcoin for Beginners, I'm your host Adrian and in this video I am going to take a deeper dive into Polkadot, which has the ticker symbol DOT. As always we will cover this content with no frills nor fluff. Keep in mind we are not investment advisors and our content is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Nothing in this video should be construed as investment or financial advice. For full disclosure I own a tiny amount of Polkadot myself at time of recording this video. Polkadot is a blockchain protocol that mainly focuses on improving blockchain interoperability and scaling. Their objective is to become an ecosystem of cryptocurrencies similar to Cosmos and Ethereum. It is a next generation blockchain protocol and comes with several technical features that make it stand out amongst the competition. The leading figure behind Polkadot is Dr. Gavin Wood, one of the co-founders of Ethereum and the brain behind Solidity, the programming language used to create smart contracts. The ultimate vision for Polkadot is to become a vital part of Web 3.0 and allow different blockchains to communicate seamlessly with each other over a single network that is secure, fast and scalable. So what are they trying to tackle? Polkadot aims to improve interoperability, scalability and speed for blockchains. Let's start with interoperability. Most blockchains today are isolated and unable to communicate with each other. Polkadot envisions a future where blockchains are not isolated networks, but can communicate with each other seamlessly in one unified blockchain. To understand how this is possible, we have to look at the Polkadot structure which consists of a relay chain and several parachains. The relay chain is the main Polkadot blockchain that acts as a central hub that processes the transactions of the entire blockchain. The relay chain can be connected to public and permission blockchains easily as long as they fulfill some basic requirements such as having a large set of independent entities to authorize transactions. Polkadot allows blockchains to be connected seamlessly while retaining their standard behavior. It also offers bridges that can help connect Polkadot to existing blockchains such as Ethereum. This structure also helps in solving the scalability issues that affect many legacy blockchains. The main relay chain is responsible for providing the consensus for the whole platform and handling cross-chain transactions. The parachains are designed to scale horizontally, which allows them to process a huge number of transactions in parallel. Furthermore, the parachains can also have state machines that can help create specialized dedicated blockchains that are designed to be more efficient both in terms of speed and storage. Polkadot provides developers the option to use a ready-made and scalable parachain and allows them to take advantage of the security provided by the main relay chain. Before we continue this episode, if you like our content, please give this video a like and additionally subscribe to our channel for more of our updates. Let's take a look at a brief background of the project. Polkadot was founded by Dr. Gavin Wood along with co-founders Peter Chaban and Robert Habermeyer in 2016. A year before starting his work on Polkadot, Gavin co-founded Parity Technologies in 2015 that developed software that powers the majority of Ethereum nodes today. Parity Technologies is relevant to Polkadot as it also created the substrate framework that is used by Polkadot developers to create parachains. The Web3 Foundation, also founded and led by Gavin, is currently the main entity responsible for managing Polkadot. The vision behind Polkadot was to create a decentralized, pseudonymous and trustless internet that allows information to be shared freely and securely. Let's look at any notable people on their team. The Polkadot team consists of seasoned veterans in the industry. The key people in Polkadot's team are, obviously, Dr. Gavin Wood, who is co-founder of Ethereum, the inventor of Solidity and the president of Web3 Foundation. Currently he leads innovation on Substrate and Polkadot. Robert Habermeyer is a TL fellow and one of the best Rust programmers in the world. Expert in research and development of cryptography, decentralized networks and distributed systems. Peter Saban is an Oxford University graduate, highly experienced in financial and data industries and known for his work on quantitative price models and machine learning. Polkadot has been involved in several partnerships with some of the notable ones being Chainlink. Chainlink is the top decentralized data oracles network and its purpose is to connect smart contracts to data that is off-chain in a secure manner. 
Chainlink integrated with Polkadot to be the primary provider of decentralized data oracles on the Polkadot ecosystem. If you want to learn more about Chainlink, we have an explainer video about this project, which I will include at the end of this video. Anchor allows people to create and deploy customized and user-friendly nodes, acting like a blockchain infrastructure marketplace. Its cloud network is powered by enterprise-grade data centers spread across the world. Polkadot uses Anchor to ensure easy deployment of DOT token validators and ensuring that they remain secure. Anchor also runs NPOS validators on the network and frequently collaborates with developers and projects in the Polkadot ecosystem. The Ocean Protocol is all about creating a decentralized data marketplace that allows for the storage, sharing and monetizing data while maintaining privacy and transparency at the same time. Ocean Protocol integrated with Polkadot to provide seamless integration and data to the parachains in the network. What are some details about the token? The DOT token is the native token of the Polkadot ecosystem. It is currently the 8th largest cryptocurrency with a market capital exceeding $5 billion. Polkadot completed its ICO in October 2017 and it was one of the most successful ICOs ever conducted, raising more than $145 million in the first round of sales. The maximum DOT supply is around 1 billion coins with 930 million coins currently in circulation. The DOT token serves several utility functions in the ecosystem, including governance, the entire protocol is controlled by DOT holders, Polkadot uses a proof-of-stake algorithm, and many major decisions affecting the ecosystem is decided by DOT holders. Secondly, staking. DOT tokens are staked to ensure the security of the Polkadot ecosystem with honest validators being rewarded with DOT tokens and dishonest validators losing the stake of DOT tokens. Thirdly, bonding. In order to create a new parachain on the network, DOT tokens need to be locked up to win the parachain slot. And fourthly, fees and payments. The DOT token is also used to charge fees for messages passing between different parachains. Why is there hype about this project? There are many reasons why Polkadot is one of the most hyped projects in the cryptocurrency industry today. The main reason that explain Polkadot's hype are, it creates interoperability between different and diverse blockchains and allows them to communicate with each other seamlessly. This is unprecedented and is definitely one of the main key factors driving the Polkadot's hype. And it allows for better scalability for parachains by allowing them to share the computing resources and security provided by the main relay chain. This allows developers to create specialized blockchains without worrying about scalability, speed or security issues. And the substrate framework used to create parachains in the ecosystem makes it really easy to create custom blockchains which will encourage more developers to gravitate towards blockchain. It allows blockchains to be updated or fixed without the need to do a fork. It also provides better security for the entire ecosystem while enabling each parachain to follow their unique governance models. So what are some of the criticisms about this project? Polkadot might be one of the most exciting innovations in the blockchain industry, but there are some criticisms of the network and the history of some unfortunate events. For example, Parity Technologies lost around $150 million in Ethereum due to a bug which included around $90 million in funding for Polkadot. Additionally, there may be certain challenges for developers, including 1. In order to create a parachain, the developer has to secure enough funds to do so and also face the risk of buying DOT tokens which are volatile by nature. This means there is a ceiling when it comes to creating parachains on Polkadot which might dissuade developers from using it. However, Polkadot might also support crowdfunding for parachains that might have inadequate support from stakeholders. 2. The governance mechanism of DOT tokens isn't exactly clear when it can lead to situations where holders can tamper with the working of a parachain outside the auction process. 3. There is a limit to the number of parachain slots available on the Polkadot ecosystem. There is also a two-year limit on parachains, which means that it is possible for some projects to lose their parachains if they cannot pay enough to maintain their slot. Who are its top competitors? Polkadot's top competitors include blockchain protocols such as Ethereum and Cosmos. Ethereum is the biggest blockchain protocol for smart contracts and its market capital is almost 10 times that of Polkadot. However, instead of directly competing with Ethereum, Polkadot can coexist with Ethereum by using bridges that allow Polkadot to work with Ethereum too. Cosmos and Polkadot can be considered competitors since both of them aim to be an internet of blockchains. However, there are a few differences between Polkadot and Cosmos, such as fundamentally different approaches to security, governance and inter-blockchain communication. There is a lot to look forward when it comes to Polkadot, as it is still a relatively new project on the scene. 
even though DOT's price has seen a meteoric spike in the recent months, many experts believe that there is still a long way to go and DOT just might enter the top three cryptocurrencies in the world by market cap. It would also be interesting to see the different projects that are developed on the Polkadot ecosystem. Projects such as Akala, Moonbeam and Kilt are already making some noise with many more to follow in the future. In the long term, Polkadot definitely shows a lot of potential and could one day potentially fulfill its objective of becoming the new decentralized internet of blockchains. That's about all. This is Adrian reporting from Bitcoin for Beginners virtual headquarters. Stay with us and watch one of our other videos next, like the explainer video about Chainlink that I mentioned earlier, which will show up here. Yeah.